Before you do any keyword research for a website, you need to have clear in your head the structure of the website that you're going to build. And the diagram you've got up here is the structure that I basically use, and it's the one that I teach in my WordPress courses. You have at the top the home page, and then the home page has a number of categories. I've just got two categories here. Each category will have um, a category main page and a bunch down here of supporting articles and these articles will all be on topics related to this category main page so we have basically got small silos and then of course don't forget we've got other important pages over here we've got a contact page a privacy page and you might have an about us page a terms of use page and so on let's go over to market samurai and see how we would do this here I am in market samurai and I'm going to just create a project called fitness because I'm not really sure yet which area I want to build the site in. Go over to the Keyword Research tab and let's just let it go away and generate some keywords. And with Market Samurai back now, we're going to go straight over to the Analyze Keywords tab. And we're not going to bother doing the Analyze Keywords yet. All I'm going to do is order the keywords by searches to see what the main areas of fitness are bodybuilding, treadmill, pilates, lots of choices. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select fitness equipment and just click on the little keyword icon and you'll see a new tab has appeared up here. And I'm going to flip over to that. Go to the keyword research section and generate keywords for fitness equipment. And here we are with 581 keywords. So we're going to go across to the Analyze Keywords section again and we're going to order them by searches again. And now what we've got is the main areas of fitness equipment. We've got it ordered by searches with the top searches at the top. That's because we want to see the areas that attract the most attention, the, the, the areas that are in the most demand. So if we start going down and looking for the sort of product type keywords, there's treadmills there, gym equipment, um, weights bench, fitness treadmill, fitness bikes, ellipticals, and you've got a choice here. You could build one really large site which has a section for elliptical trainers, a section for treadmills, a section for bikes, and that would fit in very nicely into our diagram over here where you've got, you'd have this section on, on bikes, this section on treadmills, another section on cross trainers, and so on and then you'd have a list of articles that are supporting that category however that type of site would become huge and you'd have to work really hard to compete in the various areas so if you decide to go for a smaller site let's say you just want to target one area what you can do is you can sort of narrow these down a little bit you can say well let's have a look at um, fitness bike click on the key we get a new tab and we can pick a few more if we like let's have a look at rowing machines let's have a look at fitness home gym and then what we'll do is we'll evaluate each of these and decide whether they're suitable for a niche website let's just do one of them we'll have a look at the fitness bike and I'm going to in this case choose the ignore additional that means we'll get much more targeted keywords relating to fitness bike and market samurai has come back with 127 another phrase that we could try there is uh, exercise bike so if we click on the new keyword over there and just type in exercise bike click on the update button and we'll go over to the keyword research section and we'll repeat that process and with Exercise Bike, we have 355 keywords. You'll notice that because we put this ignore additional, these phrases all have the words exercise and bike in there, and um, it becomes much more targeted. Before we continue, I'm going to close the tabs that we're not interested in anymore. Okay, so I've just got the two fitness bike and exercise bike, and what I want to do is combine them into one project so it's easier to work with. So I'm going to click on the export and just export the fitness bike phrases and then flip over to the exercise bike tab and we can import them 
into this. So we've now got 499. Let's just close the fitness bike. So the first thing we need to do now is go over and analyze these keywords. I'm just going to click on the analyze keyword button. And we'll pause the video until Market Samurai completes that. Okay, we're back with all of the data, so I'm going to order it by searches again. And what this does is it tells me the main areas where there is demand in this niche. And what it will do is come up with ideas for me for the categories of the site. What we're looking for are groups within the exercise bike niche. Recumbent exercise bikes is one of them. Um, I don't know what Schwinn exercise bikes are. Maybe that's the manufacturer. That could be another one. Upright exercise bikes. And we can keep looking down to see if we can find any more. Magnetic exercise bike. I'm not sure what that is. If we look at this as a diagram, we can see that we've got the main niche idea, exercise bikes, and then we have a number of subcategories within that niche, which are going to be the categories of our website. So we would have a recumbent bike section, an upright section, a spinning exercise bike section. There's three categories, which would be enough for an exercise bike um, site. You could choose more if you found them. And then off each of these categories, you're going to have a number of articles. So let's have a look and see how we would choose the articles for these sections. Within Market Samurai, you can do a certain amount of filtering, but it is quite weak. So I'm going to export this data and import it into a different tool. I'm going to create a new topic, fitness bikes, and I'm going to go over to the new Market Samurai import feature. And there we are with my 499 keywords already in there. And I can order these according to um, whichever columns that I'm interested in. These are the columns of data that I actually got Market Samurai to choose for me. Let's go and order them by searches and we just get back to have a look at these potential categories. Here was one recumbent exercise bike. So let's have a look at the phrases that include the word recumbent. And then we have 50 phrases there. Each of these could potentially be used for articles. Maybe they're not all um, ideal for articles because there's going to be some overlap recumbent fitness bike, recumbent exercise bikes, well those are all going to be built in really to your home page. Schwinn recumbent exercise bike, that might be um, one of the articles. Or you might do a more specific review of the Schwinn 230 or the Schwinn 231 or the Schwinn 203 or the Series 20 Schwinn active series recumbent exercise bikes. You see here you've got a massive amount of potential for articles within your recumbent exercise bike um, category. Let's have a look at one of our other potential categories, upright. Although we've got less uh, scope, we've got 15 articles, but it's still 15 potential keyword articles there for um, articles on, ex on upright exercise bikes. Let's have a quick look at the spinning keyword. Okay, we've got just two keywords there and none of those would be for an article. Those would basically be used within the main page. So if that happens when you've decided on a category, the best thing to do is go back to Market Samurai and do a keyword research on the new phrase. You can add a new keyword and do some research and you can see I've got now 155 active keywords. Go across to Analyze Keywords, Analyze the Keywords, export them back to KRA Pro, go back to the Import uh, Market Samurai and import them into your database and that way you can keep adding new keywords to your database. Here you can see I've done the same for Upright Bike which we saw only had 15 keywords in KRA Pro but we've now got another 138 keywords for that area of the website. So you can keep adding keywords into your database, building up this database here and having everything in one place. So you see how you can quickly create categories for your website, um, find the best categories come out with a list of articles for those categories and then all you need to do is write the category main page for that category and start adding articles to it and you've got your niche website.